Hi! Welcome to Infrared Learning, your quickest way to learn thermography. For this video, we will show you the basic operational tutorial of Lear EX series thermal cameras. It is recommended to register your thermal camera as soon as possible. Registration will extend the warranty of the thermal imager and allows you to submit a service request online. Register your camera at FLIR Support Center. To access the page, go to support.flir.com. You may click Log In or Sign In if you already have an existing account or click the Sign Up to create a new one. Select the product registration, then type the serial number, which can be found on the calibration certificate or on the battery compartment located at the bottom of the camera, then click Validate. The Support Center is where you can also download the FLIR Tools and FLIR Tools Plus, which is used for analyzing images, videos, and creating inspection reports. The FLIR EX series are designed to be a point-and-shoot style. It is a fixed focus lens that gives you wide, 45-degree field of view and a bright 3-inch LCD display. The camera is designed for one-handed operation. Charge the battery for 2-3 to three hours before the first use. The lights on the battery will blink while they're charging and turn solid once fully charged and ready for use. This series of thermal cameras has an internal memory, so SD card is not needed. You can also see a USB-C port which is used for downloading images and streaming videos to our PC software, such as FLIR Tools and FLIR Tools Plus. Once the battery is charged, install one and power up the camera. Slide the lens cover to open or close. Pressing the center push button will bring up the main menu, which you can navigate with the pad moving left and right. To the left of the navigation pad is the play button or archive button for viewing your saved thermal and visual images and videos. To the right of the navigation pad is the back button that can be used to go out of a selection in a main menu or go back to live image. Underneath the back button is the power on or off button. Having a correct date and time entered on your camera is important for proper documentation and record keeping. These values will be embedded on each image or video you will be saving. To set the language, date, and time, navigate the settings menu, choose device settings, then select Language, Time, and Units. Set your temperature unit into Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can also set your distance unit into meter or feet. Set the auto power off by navigating the settings menu, then device settings, then select auto power off. The range covers an interval of temperatures that the detector is able to measure accurately without going into saturation. Choose a suitable range for your target and environment and then work within that range to get the best thermal contrast. To set the range, navigate the settings menu, then select camera temperature range. Pick the most appropriate range for your application and press the center button. Once set, return to live image. To navigate the image mode, press the center button on the navigation pad to bring up the main menu, then select the image mode icon. You'll have alignment distance, which is used for the MSX. This allows for the parallax to line up with an infrared and digital camera. Next is MSX or multispectral dynamic imaging that superimposes the visual image under the thermal image. For example, a circuit breaker has many numbers and it can be seen in a normal thermal image mode only. But, by MSX, you can clearly see even the small numbers in the circuit breaker. This feature overlays the digital with the infrared image. In the following thermograms, you can actually get the breaker numbers or nameplate information of the motor which are very helpful in troubleshooting and analysis. 
thermal only is pure thermal image. It will store both infrared and digital image at the same time. Picture in picture focus carefully for the best visual to thermal picture alignment. It's very useful in highlighting the problem areas while providing visual information at the same time. Next is thermal blending. The thermal image is overlaid over the digital image. And last is the digital camera, which displays just the visible image. For those of you who are new, we recommend to use the thermal only mode first as this will help you better understand what's required for proper focus. You can also change the image mode later in FLIR Tools or FLIR Tools Plus. Tune your thermal images by adjusting the level or brightness and span or contrast. This allows you to highlight important areas or get better visualization of the target object or area. By default, the camera is set to automatic adjustment mode. This will automatically set the scale based on the hottest and coldest object in the frame. To manually adjust the scale, go to Main Menu and select the Temperature Scale icon located in the main screen. Pressing the center button will display your two choices, the Auto and Manual. Toggle the navigation pad up and down to manually adjust the scale. Press the center button on the navigation pad to bring up the main menu and navigate the color palette. You'll have different options such as the following. Iron palette is the mostly used due to the good balance of thermal sensitivity and spatial resolution. Rainbow palette is helpful when significantly considering the differences among certain temperatures. These thermal cameras offer several kinds of temperature measurement tools such as the center spot meter to know the temperature of a certain spot, the hot spot box, which provides the maximum temperature inside the displayed box. The cold spot temperature box with the minimum temperature value in an area. You also need to adjust the temperature measurement parameters such as the following. The emissivity, reflected temperature, and distance. These parameters affect temperature readings especially emissivity and reflected temperature. Therefore, it is important to set them correctly. With our various special courses, you will know what is the importance of each parameter and how to set them correctly. Be sure to check them out. Press the trigger button on the front of the camera to capture an image. Try to remain still while doing so. Any abrupt or excessive movement during saving may blur the digital or thermal photo as they are captured at the same time when pressing the button. To delete the image, Navigate the archive and select the image you want to delete. Press the trash icon then select delete. Occasionally, you will notice that the live image freezes for a moment. A shutter sound can also be heard during this brief interruption and the word calibrating will appear at the top of the display. This is called non-uniformity correction or NUC. Thermal energy from the surrounding environment or that is generated inside the camera can affect the stability of the detector array inside. This can impact the integrity of the temperature data displayed on the image, causing areas within the field of view to appear artificially warmer or cooler. The NUC is a process that resets the detector so all pixels return the same uniform thermal data, providing you with a better image that is more thermally stable. You can do the NUC manually by covering the lens to have a uniform target. Then hold the recall button for 1 second. The detector will then reset and the camera will return to live imaging mode. And last is the camera information that contains the information about the camera, part number, serial number, and more.
Learn more about thermography with our wide collection of online courses. Visit www.infraredlearning.com Call us or send an email for more information. See you on the next video.